despite starting medical school in a pandemic and just how crazy that's been, starting medical school has been one of the most rewarding experiences I've had. I legitimately felt different once I became a medical student, like I had just walked into my calling. Now, although I still feel the same fulfillment that I felt on day one, there have definitely been some days where it's been tough. There's a specific challenge about that first year of medical school that I think all entering medical students should be aware of. And this challenge centers around the fact that a lot of the material that you'll be learning will be your first time ever seeing that material. Now this doesn't mean this will be your first time that you see everything. Everyone will have your own personal familiarity with certain subjects. Whether it's a subject that you majored in, been the focus of a research project, or just something that you nerd out to and watch YouTube videos on in your free time but that will only represent a small fraction of the material that you're gonna be exposed to in medical school. Now, the fact that that first year of medical school is essentially your first pass on a infinite amount of material, there are a couple things that you should expect to experience. First, I can essentially guarantee that the way you studied in undergrad will not be identical to the way that you're going to study in medical school. For some people like me, your study strategies will be a complete 180 from what you did in college. And for others, you'll only have to make a few adjustments here or there. But I think there's a lot of value in being open to making these changes and essentially starting off with a blank slate. A large part of medical school isn't just teaching you the material, it's teaching you how to learn that material. I say it all the time, learning in the field of medicine doesn't stop until you retire, but it starts in medical school. That first year of medical school is throwing an absurd amount of material at you as well as dozens of resources and basically saying, figure it out. Hi Dr. Smith, I'm really excited to be joining your course today. Oh hi, yeah that's great. Let me just grab you the materials that we'll be covering in the first week. Is this a Bible? Oh no, the Bible is much shorter. And it forces you to learn the most effective and efficient way that you learn. And this is not an easy thing to do. Because there's so many resources out there, you'll be tempted to try everything. And that's okay, you're going to need to try multiple different strategies and multiple different resources to figure out what's perfect for you. But through this process of figuring out what works, you'll realize that your classes aren't gonna stop for you or slow down until you figure things out. That means that until you finalize your strategy, you'll have to simultaneously be trying to keep up with your schoolwork. And how you're doing in school will tell you if your strategies are working, or not. But once you find what works, you'll be setting a foundation that won't only guide you through medical school, but you'll be developing a system of learning that will guide you throughout your entire career. So when you begin medical school, understand that you will have periods where you feel completely overwhelmed. You'll feel that resource overload. It is completely normal. But be intentional about establishing what works, and once you find out what works, stick to it. This will get you over that initial hump early and you'll be able to go through the rest of your medical school career with a system that works. Now, while you're fine tuning this system, there's another challenge that you can expect to experience when you start medical school. Again, centering on this idea that you're seeing so much material for the first time. Remember how I said that everyone will have their niches of experiences and interests? Well, for some reason, once you get a group of high achieving students together in a room and somebody knows something that you don't, it can make you feel behind, not as smart, or an imposter. Welcome class, welcome to the first day of my course. Now, I don't expect any of you all to know this, but would somebody happen to know which drug combination can be used prophylactically in travelers to prevent malarial infection? Oh, bro, it's that malaria. I know that word, I know what he's talking about. Hi, yes, that would be atovaquone and proguanil. Oh, nah, bro, I know those words too. <laughs> Yeah, gotta give them that 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 eight of eight of aquanes, eight of aquanies for that malaria though. <laughs> I can guarantee that you're going to have a lot of courses throughout your medical school career where you're that second student seeing material for the first time. But you'll also probably be that first student at times too, which is great because I say it all the time. It's key to appreciate the genius of your colleagues without forgetting your own. If you're someone who wants to be a surgeon and immunology doesn't get you as fired up as the musculoskeletal system does, that's all right. You're gonna have classmates who are crushing it in immunology and you should be their biggest fans, knowing that they're gonna do incredible things in that field, which is gonna benefit medicine as a whole. Just as they'll look at you with excitement about all of the incredible things you'll accomplish in the niches that you're interested in. Starting medical school has been one of the most fulfilling things that I've done. But with this being a year of getting those first passes of a limitless amount of material, it can be challenging at times. But knowing of these challenges and how you can overcome them early in your career is taking that first step forward towards being a success 
successful medical student. Now, before you can be a successful medical student, you have to first be a successful medical school applicant. And I wanna take a quick second to share an event that I'm hosting that will get you there. I am hosting a three series event where I, as well as other medical students across the country will be guiding pre-medical students through the medical school application. From personal statement workshops to mock interviews, participating in this course will ensure that you get the most from your application and maximize your chances of getting into your top rank choice. And then your first year of medical school will be that much better. Spots are limited, so make sure you check out the event's website page for more information and to register if you're interested. But I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I hope that it can prepare some of you who will be starting medical school this fall. I know this current application season is coming to a close, so congratulations to all of those students out there who received that life-changing acceptance. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm really looking forward to helping some of you all in this upcoming medical school application, but until then, or until the next video, keep evolving and we'll see you guys soon.